gang school bought so how y'all like my new hairstyle if y'all haven't um went to go look at my recent video y'all see that um the process of me getting my natural hair done but with further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so guys today i'll be making some hot cheeto chicken tender wings so the materials you will need will be listed down below, but I will also show you guys the materials you will need. You will need, um, it depends on how many, um, stuff you're making, but you'll need one bag of hot chips or two. And you will need a bowl for your flour. You will need a bowl for your hot Cheetos. You will need some eggs. And you will need flour. And you also need a blender. Then if you come over here, you will need a pan to um fry them in you need oil and you need all your seasonings i've mixed my seasonings all up right here but i will show you the seasonings you need you need garlic powder um chicken seasonings you need salt basil leaves paprika and black pepper so let's go ahead and get into the video Just a little bit longer. So I'll catch you guys when I'm done dethawing them. So guys, I have now um dethawed them and um they were full chicken breasts as y'all can see. And then I cut the full chicken breast. So I'll show you how full chicken breast look. It looked like this, but I cut them in half and it made it look like this and when you break it down more i cut it in another half and now it looks like this so i will have a total of eight i will have four on each side so i will show you how you cut it so it's a full one and you just cut straight down the middle like this and there and now we have all of our chicken breasts. So now since I've cut them, I'm just going to wash them real quick one more time to make sure they have no um, bacteria on them. And then we're going to go ahead and put our oil on heat. And then we're going to season these and get these babies in some egg and flour. As I showed you guys, I have my seasonings in my cups. So I'm just going to... Sprinkle them, sprinkle the seasonings across each one. Make sure it's good and the seasonings are on them. Hush prints. And now we're going to turn it around. Be quiet, prints. And then we're going to turn them around, and now we're going to season the back. Prince! Prince, leave her alone. And we're going to save the last little bit right here. Leave her alone. We're going to save the last bit and put that seasoning in our flour, so... Um, I'm just copying the video, guys, because, like, that's how I learned how to make these. She put the seasonings in her flour, too, so it could get some extra seasons. So now we're going to um, wash my hands, and then we're going to pour in the her. Um, her. other stuff. So, yeah. Get off and over there. Prince, stay up for her to get off and over there. Hey. 
Yeah, Both of you, stop. Go. Thank you. Y'all, uh, she smells the chicken stuff in there, so that's why she's over there. So first, we're going to move these. We're going to pour in our flour. So first, take these out. And she said two cups of flour, so it'll be... So I'm going to do one and a half because I don't have that much chicken. She had a lot of chicken. And she had big pieces, but I only have little pieces. So I shouldn't need that much flour. So we're going to do one cup and a half. So we're just going to pour the flour in like that. Get off and over that pearl. Go get I honestly think just one cup is enough. Rinse this out and pour in our eggs. And now we're gonna get a little utensil and And now we're going to pour our last little bit of seasoning in, in our um, flour. Go. Mix it around. All Her. right. And now we're going to come over here to put in our vegetable oil. So we're going to turn this on turbo boil. Make sure there's nothing right here. You're gonna put that right there. And we're not gonna put in our oil. I don't have exact measurements of how much oil you will need. But, I mean, you could guess how much oil you will need. I just guessed that's about how much I would need. Because you're frying, so you don't know exactly how much you need. But, we're now gonna, guys, caution, if y'all are wearing earphones, please take them out now because the blender is loud. I repeat, the blender is loud. So if y'all don't want your eardrums to be hurting, I advise you to take out your earplugs right now. So guys, I'm gonna put y'all in a higher perspective so y'all can see. So I have my hot Cheetos. I love hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are my favorite. Prince, no, you're fat. No, you don't need this. No, and you're over here sitting down. No, I'm not giving you a treat. You don't need it. No. So good. You're gonna put your hand on chicken and then you're gonna put the Dad, on. I just washed my hands. I just I did not washed them. Wash yes, I did. Just y'all, y'all see me just wash my hands after I was done with chicken. You're cooking. Until you're done with all raw meat, you don't put anything in your mouth. Alright, sir. We're going to pour it in. So let's start with that first before I pour the rest in. I told y'all, I repeat, caution, this is loud. Y'all, this is a smoothie blender, so I gotta figure out which one do I press. Okay, turn it on high. Um, I'm gonna do ice crush. <laughs> Prince, shut up. You always scared of something. Dang, you always being scared. Y'all, we got sturdy, so there's still some down there that have to be crushed. Yeah, y'all, we got the right amount. We got exactly enough for this. So. <laughs>
washed your hands, then. Yeah, but that hurts. Now let's try. Prince. All right, guys, look, we only got this little bit left. All right, y'all, that's enough. Uh, so now, and now Prince is eating hot Cheetos. All right, now guys, we're just gonna put this in here. Nice. Some of the hot Cheetos are still not there, but it's okay. Because y'all, it's like, we don't have, I we have a, this is the blender, but it's not the right blender for this, but it's okay. Because that's what your hands are for. guys so this is our um sauce yeah we have a big mess so yeah. all right y'all so we now can put our ingredients so we now can do our ingredients where with our chicken so first you get the chicken put it in the egg yep get it all in there Go into the flour. Don't put too much flour because you still got to put in your, your um, hot stuff, hot sauce stuff. So, just go. Gonna... Ooh, that looks nice, y'all. So. And we're just gonna keep doing that. Time to fry. So y'all now it's time to fry. I'm gonna get my little clampy thing because I'm not about to burn my hand. And, I mean, and obviously y'all don't want me to burn my hand, so mm -hmm. where is it? Oh wait. Look 
fried Oreos. That's my next meal. Well, not meal, but dessert. This is a meal. This batch is done, and I'm putting in my second batch. This is my first batch right here. Um, these are how they look. Let me turn them around like that. Looking pretty good. This one I like the best because look at that nice seasonings and stuff. Like look at that. Oh, that seasoning in red. Comment down below if you like them. But I'll show you the everything, all of it together. And we're going to do a taste test and stuff. These are one of the big ones. Hot looks. I didn't put enough seasoning on that one, but it's okay. And yeah, so these are in here right now. Um, they're not ready yet, they just got in. So I gotta wait for these before I turn them around. And I'll catch you guys when they're all I'm just now finishing cleaning up. It only took a good 10 minutes while they were cooking and stuff. I was cleaning up, multitasking. That's one good thing in cooking that my mom taught me. Um, you always multitask and clean up as you go. So, I only have one more, two more dishes to clean out and stuff. But this is the finished product. I had it. And I'm about to do a little taste test real quick. You already know I got to get my favorite thing, which is ranch. So, I'm going to grab a little plate real quick and do a little quick taste test. So, I'm gonna put some ranch on the side. Took out the first time. So, I'm gonna grab one real quick. Alright, let's taste test this. Mm. This is actually really good. It tastes just like hot wings, but with a different taste. Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm going to show you. Mm-hmm. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Get this video to 15,000 likes, and I will see you guys later. You already know the outro. Trinity Gang, school butt, out.